This once busy crossing between Quebec and New York is now quiet. A stark contrast from a year ago. The Canadian government closed the door to Roxham Road by extending something known as the Safe Third Country Agreement. The U.S. is not a safe country for refugees. But the Supreme Court of Canada ruled it is. In a unanimous decision, the judges sided with Ottawa in a legal challenge launched by refugee claimants. The Safe Third Country Agreement was signed in 2004. It recognizes both the U.S. and Canada as safe countries, meaning refugees must claim asylum in the first country they arrive. We're going to be using the agreement to foster a culture of regular migration. But advocacy groups warn Canada is sending refugees into harm's way. There are serious rights violations and issues that are at stake when refugees are returned to the U.S. because of conditions of detainment and deportation. For years, the agreement only applied to official border crossings because of a loophole. That led to an influx of migrants in places like Emerson, Manitoba and Roxham Road, Quebec. I was a refugee claimant uh, crossing through the Roxham Road. Nakib Sarwari is originally from Afghanistan and now works for Amnesty International. It will put them in further danger as they cross through unofficial ports of entry, through farmers' fields and through uh, relying on smugglers. We, uh, Provinces well, like Quebec visiting. argue they don't yeah, have the resources to cope with the arrivals. In the ruling, the Supreme Court of Canada says there are safety valves to exempt refugees in certain cases from the agreement. But advocacy groups say those safety valves only exist on paper and not in practice. Taria Isri, Global News, Ottawa.